All right. Hey guys, so right now we are at Whataburger. So Whataburger is basically like the in and out of Texas. Um, I've gotten so much requests to try this out. So I'm looking at the menu right now and um, one of my friends recommended the patty melt. Um, let me take a look at the menu real quick and then we'll order, okay? Um, take a time order when you're ready. Okay, thank you. There's this new like pico de gallo burger. I wonder how that tastes like. Everything looks pretty good actually. They have like a mushroom Swiss burger, a sweet and spicy bacon burger, a honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich. Um, I'm definitely gonna try the patty melt. The patty melt definitely looks good. Um, okay, so we're gonna try a patty melt with the Texas toast and everything. We'll try the regular Whataburger, I guess. Is that how to do? Water size. Try the double meat water burger. Number two. Double meat water burger. Okay, we're gonna try that. We're gonna try the new pickle de gallo water burger and let's try a chicken one. What a chicken sandwich, grilled chicken, grilled chicken melts. Oh, uh, this is kinda hard. Uh -huh. Here we go. Okay, hello? How can I help you? Hi, can I get one of the Whataburger patty melts? A Whataburger patty melt? Yeah. And would you like that as a combo or just a sandwich? Um, I'll do that on itself. What to drink with that? No, that one by itself. Oh, just a sandwich? Yeah. What else can I get for you? Can I also try the Pickle de Gallo burger by itself? Did you get that? The patty melt and what else? The pickle de gallo burger by itself. Just a sandwich, pasta, what else can I get for And then let me try the double meat Whataburger combo. Gotcha. Okay, what else can I get for you? The double meat Whataburger, um, would you like cheese on that? Um, no, it's fine. Lettuce, tomato, pickles, onion, and mustard? Um, that sounds good, just no pickles. What to drink with that? Um, let me get a diet. Do you have diet Dr. Pepper? Yes, we do. Okay, let's do that. And uh, make it light ice, please. Light ice? Yeah. What else can I get for you? Um, and also, what, which one of the chicken sandwiches is like the most popular? Like, which chicken item is the most popular? I'm sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Sorry, um, what's the most popular chicken item? Did you see the nine pieces of water chicken bites? Or like the three piece chicken strip. The Okay, you know what? Let me try the chicken strips then. The three piece chicken strip? Yeah, combo. Um, uh, and would you like gravy with that? Yeah, please. What's the drink with that? Um that one let's do a Coke Zero with light ice. A Coke Zero light ice? Yeah. What else can I get for you? And then let me get a medium strawberry shake. A strawberry shake? Yeah. Uh, medium or large? Um, let's do large. A large. What else can I get for you? Uh, let's try one of the uh, apple pies. And an apple pie. Yeah, and then that should be good. So I have one patty melt, just a sandwich, a pico de gallo burger, just a sandwich, um, the double meat water burger all the way with the medium fry, medium diet, up cover easy ice, a three piece chicken strip meal with gravy with the medium fry, medium coke zero, easy ice, a large strawberry cake and an apple pie. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you so Sorry, much. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Yay! I think we just ordered about 5,000 calories that I didn't need, yay! <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna have a super exciting time trying it and everything. Let's um, bring this home, take it home, and let's eat! All right guys, so we just got back home. Let's unpack everything. So over here, we got all the drinks. That, of course, I drank some Dr. Pepper in the car. I can't help it. Uh, I got a water. These are two of the uh, sodas. 
me try some shake actually. I'm just dying to try the strawberry shake. Oh, that is good. I love me a good milkshake. Alright, we'll add in the straws later, but alright. Let's take like a lot of food. This is the Walk Water Burger packaging. Let's totally ignore the fries that I ate in the car as well. Uh, alright, so we got looks like a patty melt. Oh, that's no, this one is the patty melt. And some fries that fell to the bottom of the. Okay, well, just. Don't look at me! I was hungry! I really, okay, look, I, it's so hard. I have no self control over fries in the car, unless it's like for a challenge. If it's not like really for a challenge, then I don't know. What's the point of saving the fries? Okay, so this is really cool. When I asked for some ketchup, they actually asked me, do you want regular or spicy ketchup? So they actually have their own brand of spicy ketchup from Whataburger. So I am so excited to try that. All right, what else do we have here? We definitely have more fries, thank God. All right, we got apple pie. This double, double, double patty, double water burger, patty melt. This is probably the pico de gallo burger. All right, and then we also got some of their chicken tenders with fries. All right, so this is the fries. We got some chicken tenders in there with some gravy sauce, and we also have some Texas toast. All right, let's set this all up, and I can't wait to dig in. All right, you guys, let's get started on this food. I'm gonna put my hair up and we will begin. Ooh, it looks amazing. All right, so this is the new seasonal item that is just here for a little bit. This is called the Pico de Bacayo Burger. And um, yeah, I'm intrigued to try this out. So on this burger, it looks like the Pico de Gallo sauce is on top, including two of their Whataburgers patties and with some cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese, it's white cheese, but let's try this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's a tad bit spicy. I like it. Yeah, and their fries are actually really good too. Mmm. Let's try some of their spicy ketchup. That's good. I don't know why people compare this to In-N-Out. It honestly tastes nothing like In-N-Out. Maybe it's just this popularity is about the same as it is in In-N-Out in California, but... <clears throat> mm, their burgers have their own very distinct taste. And they don't exactly sell the same items as In-N-Out, so this is completely different, but it's really good. Mm. I actually dig it. I wish I had this in California. Mm. It's spicy ketchup though. Mm. It's good. This ketchup is really good. Oh my god. Mm.
All right, let's try some of their fried chicken pieces. So there's also the country gravy that comes with it. Okay, not gonna lie, this was a little bland. Yeah. What do I mix it like this? Because the, the, the gravy is a little bit bland. Ah, uh, that's a little better. Yeah, this could definitely use some salt. But then again, this is I I'm I'm guessing this is more of a burger place. So you typically don't go to a burger place for uh, chicken stuff. The toast is like meh too. Mm. The burger was good though. Mm. Go with the fries. Maybe it's because the fries is already salty. All right. Let's try the patty milk that my friend recommended to me. Ooh. Looks like it's their toast with some burgers. Ooh, look at that. It smells very heavy. Mmm. get enough of the spicy ketchup man I don't think there's any chain stores in California that offer spicy ketchup I know there's restaurants that offer spicy ketchup but I'm eating just, just this just to get rid of the tenders. I would not recommend this. <clears throat> but if you guys are in um, trying Whataburger, don't get the chicken tenders. I mean, there's Popeyes here and yeah, it's <sighs> just drench it in spicy ketchup and forget about it. Very dry too. Patty milk, really good. Mm. I said In N Out Burger is like on a seven out of ten for me. This is eight out of ten. Pico de Gallo Burger is also seven out of ten. And chicken tenders are honestly like one out of ten. It's
I think the fries are like both 7 out of 10 for Whataburger and In-N-Out for me. But that's just because um, I'm not that big of a fan of skinny fries. Like the taste is good, I just like the texture when it's thicker. For some fries. The shake is honestly hard to tell. Do I like this shake better or in and out? I think I like the in and out better. An in and out shake would be like a seven out of 10. This is like a six out of 10. This one tastes a little like more artificial. Like it's, um, like you know that artificial sugariness? That's why I can taste more of that in there. Um, so it tastes a little bit less fake, like a little bit more fake, fake sugar. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting from it. I think that would, I, that's why I assume like their large is like big. Like in and out large does not give you that much. So I would prefer in and out shake better, but that's not bad. That's not a bad shake at all. So if you want to shake, um, with your meal, sure. All right. Moment of truth, the Whataburger, Whataburger, burger, double meat. All right, here we go. I prefer in and out yeah i prefer in and out it's good it's good don't get me wrong it's good i would prefer this more than um a whopper at burger king or a big mac at mcdonald's any day but in and out is um in and out is very very fresh and the well there is one problem with in and out the meat is so thin this is actually like pretty thick and this burger is definitely a lot bigger than in and out burger like in and out i would have to like at least buy two double doubles at least just to uh, even feel satisfied and i've had plenty of other items already i just oh i don't know i just personally eat a lot you guys know that um okay this is um this is definitely going to fill me up more than an in and out burger on its own but i would even after eating all this i could still definitely taste the um difference in and out burger i like more but i like the fact that the burger patty is bigger Oh, this is definitely more filling. And I told them no pickles, but they still give me pickles. Look at that! There's so much pickles! And I don't know, the in and out sauce is really what sets the standard of what makes it different. This one, they're just using mustard. Maybe if you ask them to put some of the spicy ketchup in here, it'll taste a lot different. The spicy ketchup. Really, really good. I think if they, they like made their own sauce with the spicy ketchup and some of the uh, country gravy. Ooh, I think that would be really good. So I'm gonna put some country gravy. We'll dip some of the ketchup in there. Mm. 
Yeah, that's good. I don't know, I just really like this combo. See, now when I do this, this is better than the animal style at in and out This is the Whataburger style. Or this is the Reno Whataburger style. I don't know, does anybody eat it like this? Mm. Oh. All right, that is a lot of calories I don't need because I just wanted to try Whataburger, but it's fine because tomorrow I am going to swim for another two hours. It's great, my friend has a pool, I can just swim. I was actually worried I wouldn't like be able to exercise because exercising is what gets me up the appetite for food challenges. I was worried I wouldn't have the um, chance to work on my appetite. All right, let's try the apple pie. So this one, we're gonna compare it to McDonald's. Ooh, and let me tell you, I really like the apple pie at McDonald's. It kind of looks really similar, actually. All right, there you go. It honestly tastes the same. I honestly can't tell. I can't tell. Tastes the same. Maybe it's the same manufacturer, I don't know. Similar recipe. I think I would slightly prefer McDonald's a little more, just because it has the holes. I think it makes it a little bit more juicier. I don't know. That was a little bit, like when I took my first bite, it was a little bit dry that I usually don't get out of McDonald's um, apple pie. That would be the only difference. But other than that, it tastes just about the same. Mm. All right, so that's the end of my Whataburger meal. Whew. All right, that was definitely a lot of food. I did do a challenge earlier, by the way, so this is um, not my first meal of the day. But I was definitely still hungry after that challenge. It was only like a three pound challenge. It wasn't that big. Um, but that was a super fun one. It was the Wolf Den uh, Country Fried Steak Challenge. That was delicious. But then I think after trying their gravy and then this gravy, this gravy cannot live up to the gravy I just had at that restaurant. Oof, that was a really good country fried steak and gravy. Ah, all right, anyway, that is it. That is my Whataburger meal and experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are ever in Texas, I definitely highly recommend 10 out of 10, you should try it at least just to try, just to see what the hype is about just to try that out the flavors. I'm not saying that you're going to absolutely love it, but it's not definitely not bad. The patty melt is good. Um, the Whataburger burger is good. Do not get the fried chicken. <laughs> Do not get the chicken tenders. Uh, the fries are okay. Um, shake if you want shake. Shake is just shakes. I don't know how you can make shakes like any. I've never had a place where the shake is like, oh my God, I need another one of these again. No, a milkshake is just a milkshake to me. But then again, I was a barista at a tea place making boba and drinks and shakes and milk ices for like seven years. So I don't think, I think that's why it doesn't impress me. Um, but yeah, that's my experience. Pretty fun. Um, so far, Texas has been so welcome. Everybody is so nice. Holy moly, everybody's got that Southern hospitality. I can't take it, my heart. I'm like, ah, they're all so nice. I'm just like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just, I'm just constantly saying thank you. Like, how do I, oh my God, I'm not used to it, but it's amazing down here. Um, please come check out Texas um, when it's safer. It's safe to um, travel. Um, but yeah, if you guys are in Texas, try them out. It's not sponsored in any way. I legitimately just thank you guys should all try this. But all right, 
anyway, I'm gonna start rambling. Um, I'm gonna go finish up some editing videos and I gotta sleep. And then tomorrow we're gonna do more challenges. So gotta get my rest in. And tomorrow morning, right when I wake up, I'm gonna go swim again as well. So that is my exercising regime to work on my appetite. But anyway, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.